Hey songwriters, in this video, we are going to talk about how to use rhyme as a brainstorming tool. Yes, rhyme is just not only a tool to make words match sonically, it's also a tool that you can use to find more ideas and write more interesting songs. So welcome to At Home Songwriting. I'm Chad Shank, let's jump in. So how do you use rhyme as a brainstorming tool? Well, first, why do you want to brainstorm when you're writing songs? Well, you're going to say, duh, I need ideas. I need to know what I'm writing about. Yes, but the thing is, is when you can use rhyme as an idea generator, you don't have to settle for the first thing that pops into your head because you do some legwork in the beginning. So I'm going to show you this technique, and I truly believe that the better ideas you start with, the better songs you end up with. So better ideas, better songs. So let's jump in and talk about this technique that I like to call rhyme storming. All right, so rhyme storming. What the heck is rhyme storming? Well, yes, it's a combination of brainstorming and rhyme. So I want to give you step by step how you can use rhyme to find more interesting ideas. So step number one, you have to select an emotion or a topic. So what is your potential song emotion about? Is it about a feeling? Is it about a sensation? Is it about uh, a topic like a moment in time? Is it a relationship situation? Is it some other type of situation? So that's step one. Select an emotion or topic. Step number two then is to really think deeply about your emotion or topic and try to come up with at least 10 words that relate to your emotion or your topic. You can have more than 10, but try to have at least 10 words. So that's step two. Step three then is to look up five to 10 rhymes for each of those 10 words. And this step, you can use a rhyming dictionary. You can use sites like RhymeZone, RhymeBrain.com. Um, one of the students that I have told me about a site called Rhyme Wave, which is super cool. But step three is to look up five to 10 rhymes for each of those 10 words. And here's the catch though. You're not only looking for words just because they rhyme. You want to make sure that they fit the topic of your song. So if they don't fit the topic of your song or they don't give you a little jolt of creative inspiration, don't include them. We want to be selective here and pick the words that actually sort of give you more ideas. So if you have 10 words, you're doing 10 rhymes each, that's like 100 words that you can choose from. And then again, only select rhymes that fit with your idea. Next, be selective and find those ideas that, and you know, it's not just about rhymes. I already said that, but it's so important because that's why this can help you come up with new ideas. So here's an example of a rhyme storming table that I made. So one of my students in, that I um, work with and a co-writer of mine suggested to make tables within Google Docs. So you can make tables that have numbers of tiles. And this is what I did here. So my topic, as an example, is the, the topic of lonely. So I looked up empty, solitude, secluded, despair, pain, alone, left, disconnection, hurt, distant, single, solo. Those were all words that I came up with. And then I went back and I found five rhymes for each of those. So I have 12 words times five. That's like 60 words that I have to choose from here that I can use within my song. So once you have all of these words, you can use them either as a jumping off point. Some of them might be song titles, like the word here, monochrome. That would be a, a cool song title. What about the song title, sketchy? Um, you know, what are some other ones? But the key here is you can use these words however you want, but now all of a sudden you have this whole word palette that you can dip your you know, writing brush into and 
you know, start putting together some rhyme schemes and start injecting more emotion into your songs. And if you missed my free workshop called Using Rhyme as a Tool, Not a Necessity, you can actually sign up and download it and stream it now at athomesongwritingcourses.com. We go through an extensive use of rhyme where if you haven't really thought about rhyme or why you rhyme, you definitely want to watch this video. Um, it's called Using Rhyme as a Tool, Not a Necessity, and you can download it and watch it at At Home Songwriting Courses. Dot com. When I'm working with songwriting students and also songwriting clients of mine, when I'm coaching them on writing songs, a lot of times they don't know exactly how to develop their song topic or the emotion that they're writing about. And this technique of doing rhyme storming can be really powerful to give you at least a jumping off point where you can have a whole palette of 100 or so words, you know, 60 to 100 words, just like I showed you. And you can use those to drop into rhyme schemes. You can put them into um, various like, orders to see you know are there any ideas that pop up all of that and if you'd like to learn more about using rhyme and also how to study stressed syllables check out this other video here on at home songwriting